Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are learning how to calculate the expected duration, variance, and the standard deviation for the entire project. So if you remember, this is what we've been looking at in the last couple of videos, this specific project. Um, so we're able to find the expected duration, variance, and standard deviation for each activity. Uh, we were using these equations, and we can do that one activity at a time. But what we're looking at now is we want to know for the entire project as a whole. So what we need to do is actually we'll be summing up information along the critical path. So to get the expected duration, what we do is we just add up the expected duration for uh, for each activity on the critical path, and then we'll get the answer. So you know what, let's actually write this down. Uh, let's write the formula down here first. So what this is saying here is that we have the expected duration, like I just said, uh, is the sum of all of the, the expected durations for each activity that fall on the critical path. And I've just highlighted the critical path here in red, and you can, you can easily pick it out by having the late date minus the early date. If any of those are zero, they will form the critical path. So that was all from the previous videos. Uh, so let's just go in and we'll fill in that information. So the sum of the, uh, the expected durations for each activity along the critical path. So when you go add those up, you have 4.5, 8.5, 9.5, 14.5, .5, and 4. Uh, the sum comes out to 41. And you can see that is that's what we uh, learned visually from just inspecting the network diagram. Same thing goes for the variance. Uh, what we want to do is we want to sum up the variance for each activity along the critical path. So we would have here, we'd have 1.36 plus 2.25 plus 2.25 plus 2.25 plus 0 0.44. And that gives us the value of 8.55 for the variance of the entire project. So something to notice is don't just go and add up all of the variances for every activity in the project. It's every activity along the critical path. Same with the duration. And you know that from doing network diagrams up until this point. All right, so the last thing here to look at is standard deviation. You can't actually just go and add all of the standard deviations for each activity along the critical path. And this has to do with something called the central limit theorem. Uh, we're not going to get too much into it, but just know that it exists and it's a thing that affects this. And what the central limit theorem says, basically, it basically says that the mean of the sum is the sum of the means. And it also says that the variance of the sum is the sum of the variance. Now, neither of those mention anything about the standard deviation. So without getting too much into it, just know that that's something you have to watch out for in these problems, is that you can sum, to get the expected duration and the variance, you have to sum each of the values along the critical path. However, you can't just sum up the standard deviations. It doesn't work. It's not, that's not how the statistics works. So what you do is you can just take the square root of uh, the project variance, and that's how you get that. So that's something definitely worth committing to memory. Uh, so we'll have the square root here of 8.55, and just punching that in your calculator, you get a value of 2.92. And there you go, that is the standard deviation for the whole project. Uh, now in future videos, we will be using these to figure out uh, time intervals, maybe the probability that a project would finish, you know, two days late or two days early or between those times. Uh, so that's where these uh, this variance and standard deviation will come into play. So I will see you guys in the next video and we will talk more about that.